This video is about purchasing the MSC photo packages, the all digital option. Hello everyone, my name is Fatima Mahmoud. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Why am I making these videos about the MSC Meravilia when there are so many others out there? Click on the link below to watch my video explaining my reasons. On my 2021 MSC Meraviglia cruise, I did not purchase any official pictures. I just used my own camera, but for 2022, I decided to buy the official package from MSC. I didn't purchase anything before boarding. I waited till I was on the ship. On embarkation day in Port Canaveral, they had this deal that I hope you can see the image of. It was for almost $160 uh, for a digital only package. So you're not having pictures printed out. A lot of us nowadays don't bother with printed pictures. My package was a little bit more because I was doing a back-to-back -back cruise, so I needed to cover the extra days on the second cruise that I was participating in, so my price was a little higher than what you see on the screen. Most MSC computer systems that the crew use, you the passenger will not be allowed to see it, but this is an example in the photo gallery where they are ringing you up and showing you things about the photo options on the computer and they have a separate screen facing you so you can see what they're doing as they do it. I watched a YouTube video by The Rich and Jazzy Life where they were sailing MSC out of Miami on one of the seaside or seashore ships and that uh, photography team was able to float around the ship with the equipment easily and take pictures in different places. I arrived on the MSC Maravilla for my second trip and I assumed that this photography team would have the same flexibility and options. It turned out I was wrong. So just to watch out that uh, if one ship has a certain resource in terms of photography and flexibility of moving the lights around the ship easily, another ship may not, the team on another ship may not have the same option. From what I could tell, the majority of the photography team were all guys. They were very friendly guys and very eager to take photographs whenever they could. I don't know if they work on a commission base or if there are incentives to increase the number of photographs they take and are sold. I'm not sure about that, but at times I felt uh, really pushed by the photography photography team into doing certain pictures with certain backgrounds that I was not interested in. They, I'll show you different backgrounds that they set up and I just wanted my pictures with the ship and not with the background. And first they would really ask me to take the picture with the background and then they would be very accommodating and um, adjust their camera settings and turn around and uh, accommodate my request to take pictures with just the background of the beautiful ship. I just thought the ship is so beautiful that we don't need any uh, digital or enhanced backgrounds. I wanted to get really dressed up and when we're at Ocean K, I I wanted uh, professional shots of me and the island, the lighthouse, the ship, the beach. And in order to do that, I actually met with like a supervisor in the photography team and he allowed me to take a picture of this schedule saying which photographer might be where on the island. The times are quite general. So it took a while for me when I'm all dressed up, sort of walk around the island and try to spot the particular photographers, try to be aware of what they're wearing, their daytime uniform. It took a while, I almost gave up, but then I finally found one of them and they were very accommodating and gave great direction. Uh, for me to get a lot of the types of photos that I wanted on Ocean K alongside the ship, the beautiful sky, and the lighthouse. With this type of request, I was very mindful that first the photographers needed to take as many photos of the other passengers first, and then for, this, for these one-on-one -on -one sessions, I just had to wait until they were available. If you're considering buying MSC photo packages, one plus side is you're going to have access to maybe six professional photographers and whatever training these folks have, they are really good at giving you directions on how to pose and what to pose next to, especially when you're out on Ocean K Island. You get this 
resource of six people working together to give you great photos and great poses. So that's a definite benefit of actually investing in a MSC photo package. On board, I briefly filmed some of the photography setup. Starting at 4 p.m., the photography team are setting up the backdrops for the professional photographers to take their pictures. It doesn't seem to be floating photographers during the day, but they seem to be available in the evening time. Spoke to one of the photographers and on board, they're generally available 5.30 to 10 p.m. to take your photos. If you're at Ocean K, they're generally there 10 a.m. to 1 or 2 p.m. to take your photos on the beach. While you are on board the MSC Meravilia, you can see your digital photos electronically by going one in person to the photo gallery and using their large digital table. If you pay to use the Wi-Fi on your personal devices, then you can try to go to the photo website and look at your photos individually. What I noticed is that those photos, the best I can remember, always come with this border and I didn't know how to get rid of that border until later on in the process. Once you leave your cruise and it's officially over, you'll receive an email similar to this saying that your photos are ready and that you have 30 days to download your photos. Here's screen recordings of me logging into the online account from that website, mymscphotos.com. Again, that's always subject to change based on what the company decides. You have to select your ship from the drop down menu. You enter in your ID number and you get that when you purchase the package or it's the same as your crew, cruise card ID number. Then you set up a separate MSC Photos account. Here's all the customizable merchandise you can purchase with one of your photos that you already purchased. Click view your photos. You can see they're listed by date on the top left corner and you see there's the border that I don't like. Select all your photos for download. It pre-populates your email address because you entered it when you created the photo account and you have to submit the request for the download to be prepared. On this screen in the right corner, you can see that this package is called All Inclusive Digital Package for almost $200 because of the back-to-back -back trick I took. You wait to receive your email notification that your photos are prepared and your download is ready to be downloaded. While there is a download all link on the right corner, all of your f pictures are segregated into separate zip files. For whatever reason, on this day, I went to account, then download, and then it shows you my expiration date for my pictures, and then I hit the one download dialog button, and it shows that my all my photos are broken down into nine zip files so that they can be um, individually downloaded, one at a time. Unless I did this wrong, I believe that the version of the photos that are batch downloaded instead of individually downloaded are the ones without borders. So one of the things that I did is for the group of young men who sat with me in the main dining room for dinner, I went ahead and had their picture sent to my account. I downloaded all the photos and then I emailed all the photos of them individually, them as a group and us as a group. To, to one person who then further distributed them. There was no problem doing that on an MSC level and that's a great option if folks are looking to save money and help other people out. Let me break down my final deal for you. For just under $200, I got digital only photos, no paper printouts. The total is about 174 without borders and the ones with borders were already included. Again, this digital package is every single picture that's taken of you. They obviously filter some of them. You get them all for this one deal. 
and the standard photos that they would normally take on the ship are when you're seated in the main dining room for dinner on the wonderful MSC crystal staircases in the promenade area that also included about 10 backgrounds that I didn't like and then it also included my special requests for the aspects of the ship in the background and photos of me and my special request for Ocean K. So I thought this was a deal. It's up to you if you think a similar price is a good deal for you. If I'm remembering correctly, the online account lasts for about a year and you get multiple email alerts when the account is about to be closed and you're gonna lose all your pictures, but hopefully you downloaded it within 30 days. Many of us already know that the interior of the newest MSC ships are wonderful and beautiful and sparkly. So if you take advantage of a photo deal, whether it's pre-boarding or on embarkation day, you get to take full advantage of about five to six well-trained photographers and get these amazing pictures to have forever. Thank you for watching my video. I'd love to hear from you on email at fmahmood at wellesley.edu. You can also find me on LinkedIn at that address. And if you do send me a connection request, please go ahead and send me a note. Before you go, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And please go ahead and watch my next video. Thank you.